Okay, I have two five pounds sirloin roast in the crock pot, and all I did was uh, I put a fourth of a cup of water. You need very, very little bit of water when you're cooking in the crock pot. Uh, so I have I spread fresh garlic, um, crushed garlic on the top, and I just uh, put some fresh ground pepper on the top. Uh, so um, I didn't really add any salt, uh, any sea salt at this point in time, uh, but that can be added at the end, um, or not at all, either or. But the sea salt with the minerals are a good choice of um, to add extra minerals uh, to your body that you that you need. So I have this on low, and I'm starting this. Uh, it's about 9.15 at night, and uh, tomorrow morning in about 11 hours, um, probably by about 8.15 um, or so, it will be finished. All done. Okay, there's the two um, five-pound sirloin roast that I cooked overnight, and you can see how much broth has come from that. I only put a fourth of a cup of water in there, and it is now fork tender. Um, so um, what I do after it cools, I'll show you, I put them, um, I wrap them in um, a wax paper and then put them in the, the zip bags and freeze, um, and we get some mileage out of this. Okay, I have my sirloin roast um, cut up in chunks. I take kitchen shears, I trim off all the fat, and then I take and I use a regular cereal bowl, and I line it with wax paper, and I have approximately a pound of meat in there, and then I take folded over. In a freezer bag labeled. Now the thing with the sirloin roast, it is more greasy, uh, so I'm going to be putting the broth in the refrigerator and uh, letting the fat go to the top and removing it. Okay, I have them individually wrapped in approximately a one pound um, pack and uh, with wax paper, and as I put them in the bag, I just turn the uh, turn it upside down so that this part is folded under. It just keeps it more tidy, and, uh, and that way, when you want to get out some of the, the sirloin roast, you just, you just take one of these out, you just put it in the refrigerator. I just put it in, an, in a um, quart size zip bag, and then put it in the refrigerator and thaw it overnight when I'm ready to use it. So they're all ready for the freezer now. So I have seven total packs, which will get about 14 meals uh, of meat uh, out of this.